52 The pain and suffering most people go through is as a result of poor leadership. Draw illustrations from Fathers of Nations by Paul B. Vita to show the truth. Many leaders lack a sense of humanity, are morally corrupt and are drunk with power. They therefore operate with a total disregard of the rule of law causing misery and distress to their citizens. Engineer Tahir suffers psychological torture due to the leader of Libya's decision to disband the Fist of Allah. Engineer Tahir studies weapon development at the University of Paris, France, and later came to serve his government at the country's nuclear plant, the Fist of Allah. At first, the president of Libya shows great support to this project and gives it all the funding it requires. Tahir is lucky to be among the most senior employees at the Fist of Allah and he is very committed to his work. However, the Libyan leaders disbands it after Al-Qaeda strikes America as the latter declares war on terrorists and their sympathizers. The Libyan leader quickly disbands the project and Tahir is left hopeless. He has no job nor desire to do anything else. He loses the admiration he once had for the leader's fierceness and defiance to the West. He quickly realizes that the once tough leader has softened. He cowers and seeks to impress the West. He relocates to Benghazi, his ancestral home, because with his lifeline cut, his life is miserable. He is only too willing to enlist as a path alpha traveler due to the anger and discontent he has for his leader. Comrade Malusi suffers heavy losses due to the oppressive, dictatorial Zimbabwean leader. He is betrayed when he is not appointed a minister in the post-colonial Zimbabwean government in spite of his patriotism in fighting for independence. His wife, Zaliza, is killed during the Gukurandi massacre alongside many of his tribesmen after they revolt at when his party leader is set up and fired from a government position. He loses his home and business in an oppressive exercise aimed at punishing the slum folk for supporting the opposition. He is unable to fend for himself without strain after his business is demolished alongside those of other slum folk in what the president hypocritically had called a slum cleaning exercise the Murambats Vina to rid them of diseases and crime. Ironically, disease and crime only increases. His suffering and discontent easily make him enlist at AGDA as a path alpha traveler and an advocate of change. Kanka Chiamaka is arrested locked up and banned from preaching for criticizing the Nigerian president. Pastor Chiamaka turns a new leaf and takes to preaching after he survives a grisly accident in which his Mercedes is hit by a fire engine. Fortunately, he survives the accident unscathed and though his car is mangled out of shape, it still works. The lack of witnesses also is another thing he considers an advantage. He views this as a miracle and stops living life recklessly. As a preacher, he is persuasive as he is powerful, he lashes with words and gives impactful sermons. However, he suffers when he criticizes the leader of Nigeria for his irresponsibility in addressing chaos in the north of Nigeria that had displaced people. The criticizes his decision of writing a memo instead of practically handling the manner to stoke the strife. He is arrested and locked up in a filthy cell for 14 days. When he is finally released, he is warned against preaching. This makes him very bitter. He is very willing to join AGDA as its advocate. He hopes to convert his discontent into will for change. Professor Kamani suffers a lot from the oppressive Kenyan government that pays him little and sentences him to six months imprisonment. When his wife leaves him for newborn Walamua, he chooses to confront him. A physical fight ensues when he is unable to bear the humiliation the legislator puts him through by arrogantly defending his immorality as something that was common globally. The two are arrested but he is the only one taken to court. The court finds him guilty of assaulting a member of parliament and sentences him to six months imprisonment. His woes get worse when the university demotes him from a full professor to a senior lecturer. In addition, he is also bitter because of the parliamentary coup by legislators in which they had increased their own salaries by a hundred times. Teachers like himself have to content with a little pay, 
now made worse by the demotion. It is no wonder that he is angry even at his aging. Fathers of nation He hopes for a country in which teachers are treated well and paid better too. In summary, the above discussion shows how bad leadership can cause untold misery to its citizens. As for the oppressed, there is always hope that things will get better.